So this is Rainy Pass. And I tell God he owes me a trip through Rainy Pass like this. You know, it is absolutely drop-dead beautiful country. You know what life is really like. Every time I go over Rainy Pass, it looks like that. <laughs> We're going through in an absolute blizzard, a big storm. My second year, they actually stopped the back of the pack and held us for 24 hours because the storm was so bad, they didn't want rookies and back of the pack guys going through it. They said, somebody's going to get hurt. My rookie year, I had base. The dog that I showed you the picture of was my leader. He had the ability to follow that trail through the storm, even when it was blown in and we couldn't tell where it was. I would look out and every now and then I'd see a marker come by. Better than that, he would take and he'd back off and he'd raise his tail just a little bit and he'd tell me, Dad, I'm not sure I'm on the trail anymore. And I'd set the snow hooks, the anchors that we carry, and I'd walk up and yeah, he's lost it. And I'd look around and, well, it's over here, base. Come on over this way. He said, wow, thanks, Dad. Get back on the runners and off we go. Can we repeat that? I got into Rome that year and they said, how, how bad is it up there? They said, ah, it's not too bad, you know. He found the trail just fine. They called Rainy Pass. They held the rest of the race. They wouldn't let anybody else take the checkpoint behind me. They said, we don't want rookies running that. You did good. Yeah. And then, of course, after you come up over Rainy Pass, what goes up must come down. This is coming down the top of Rainy Pass. We're not actually to the Doll's Hill yet. But this is a very interesting section of trail. This brush grows up, these willows, so fast. Every year they got to come down and just about cut a new path through that. And then, of course, you got the Doll's Hill Gorge itself. Anybody who followed the race for a long time, back in the 80s and the early 90s, the trail wasn't this good, and almost every mushroom went into the water. Yeah. You can see how close you are. I mean, you're running right on the edge. It's going to be ice bridges that you run across. Further up in 2007, just a little bit before we got to the Dolls L, we're seeing a, a flat white area. It looks kind of like a parking lot with about an inch and a half of snow on it. I figured that's got to be the trail. Dogs figure that's the trail. We start running down that daggone thing. It was a creek. Oh. Ice was about that thick. <clears throat> Broke through the creek, rolled the sled over on its side. Luckily, water's only about that deep. Big rocks on the bottom of that. I'm laying down in there. Of course, you can tell I'm wet from about here over. Yeah, I'm not real happy. I'm going, Rah! well, the dogs figured that was the command to get the heck out of there. They played icebreaker for 100 yards. Now I'm not wet on the right side. I am sopping wet from head to toe, every little bit of me. It. It's 10 degrees, and it's three hours or better to get to Rome to the checkpoint where there's any place warm to start to dry off. It was really kind of cool. You don't wear any cotton. It's all synthetics. So I wasn't cold. I wasn't hypothermic. I wasn't real comfortable. But my outer layers froze solid. It's like a suit of armor. I'm kind of going down the trail like this, you know. You set your arms where you want them, you ain't going to move them later. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun out on that trail. It's just a ball.